Welcome back. Well, maybe you've seen this before in New York. Near naked women hustling for tips. It's turned Times Square into the triple X crossroads of the world. Police say that their hands are tied, meanwhile, in arresting the lewd and rude panhandlers because, quote, most are illegal immigrants. Tracy Carrasco now with the outrage this morning. Tracy, good morning to you. What a story. Good morning. Yes, you know, this has been going on for years, and among the Batman and Mickey Mouse costume characters in Times Square, whom you and your kids can pose for pictures with and give a small tip to, there are the days nudists, the mostly naked women covered strategically with body paint, also hitting up tourists for money. Well, last summer, the city painted these blue boxes on the ground and called them designated activity zones, the areas where the characters and women can solicit for tips. But the panhandlers frequently wander out of their designated areas and can get pushy looking for customers and tips. We spoke with some visitors who experienced this. They just kind of try to come right up into your face and, you know, want a picture, want a picture. And, you know, they're just, you know, looking for money. But a little bit pushy, asking for more. I think they're trying to make a living. You get upset when they don't give a tip. Yes, a tip, only tip, only tip. <laughs> and when the characters get out of line, well, it's tough for the NYPD to crack down, although they do take action. The NYPD tells me so far this year, they've made five arrests compared to 26 for the same time last year. Officers have issued 159 summonses in 2017 compared to 137 for the same time in 2016. A law enforcement source told the New York Post the past proposals to license the often pushy panhandlers went nowhere because, quote, most of them are illegal immigrants and wouldn't register anyway. In a statement, the president of the Times Square Alliance says, quote, the handful of costumed creeps who hustle, harass, and touch thousands of people a week without consent must be addressed. It's not about whether people lack garments or green cards. It's about whether they are engaged in non-consensual or criminal conduct. It's about respecting boundaries, whether in a public space or personal space.